I need to do a recording uh, this night. It's uh, it's very late for me. It's uh, uh, after midnight, and I'm on my way to uh, go to the health clinic in the morning to take some test and uh, i have uh, i have um, uh, sign in for a new health clinic because uh, the the clinic health clinic i was uh, was to the, the doctor there uh, she never uh, wrote gave me a new uh, medicine she said that she should give me some new medicine for my hard, high blood pressure but and she said that i uh, she needed to talk to to another doctor she said but then uh, she never come back and, and talk to me and make me could uh, uh, get the medicine uh, like she forgot it uh, i i think i maybe have wrong but i think that she's told the doctor uh, about the medicine but the doctor forgot it and uh, never uh, wrote me some medicines and uh, I can't uh, reach this doctor is uh, this uh, she is not real Swedish doctor and it is what uh, going on here in in Sweden, and I think there is other countries there is going on the same thing that uh, they are not real doctors. Uh, they get the job because they belong to the family or, or friends or in the same religion, and they are not doctors. But they can work in the health clinic as long as they have a real doctor over them that decide uh, what they should do. And then they can work like a doctor, but they are not doctors. Uh, and it has been very much problem now, uh, on, only in my uh, private life is it very hard because i don't i don't get real doctors and i need to have a real doctor as i am have multi uh, illness that my body is so very bad uh, i need real special doctors for that but I don't get it and that was why I I was in uh, Jerusalem and I sent all my papers about my health to the hospital but they didn't want to take me into the hospital to treat me so that was very bad of Israel to do. I I I send them all the papers and a copy of my passport and everything, but they didn't want to even uh, that I should come to the hospital, and they could uh, see me. They didn't, and uh, the that's why. I did it because it's so bad here in Sweden to could see a doctor. It's only for Muslims to have a real doctor. 
and we Swedish people we we don't get it and those people are very lucky that don't are not so sick so uh, so it's very bad but I'm going tomorrow to a new one and it's really uh, it's have already showing me it is the same thing in this clinic um, but I hope to to uh, to get help that from heaven to to meet someone that is a real doctor um it's on the other side of the city but i think uh, it will be interesting to go in the morning the whole way through the city it maybe take maybe take 20 minutes to go there and look around what's going on in the city and um and while yeah, i i was started this recording it is because i can see uh, see some spirits running in my home they don't standing they are running here and uh, I don't know if they are going to talk to us or if they only want to run like they are busy to come to places because I can see it's not this one spirit it's two or three spirits here moving around and I will see if there is something coming. And and also that I want to talk about that uh, you were, I was talking about the, the last time I was talking about men and that they uh, don't understand who they meet. They feel they feel that that is something with me uh, that that uh, hit them but they don't understand that it's a spirit thing it have nothing with with the world to do and they be very interested on me and then uh, maybe when they uh, coming home uh, to their home they check me out see who I am because they have my telephone number and then they can find me and and then they see that I am so old and then they be scared and and uh, uh, they want uh, children they are in the religion that say that they should make uh, worldly children it's uh, it's not what god is talking about god is i have told you before that god wants us to those people that is already born here on earth we should make them uh, our children, the children of, of God. Not that we need to give birth to many children. Or else uh, should it not be women that can't, a man that can't have children. If God wanted men and women make children as much as they can do I know many have there is many the Jewish and Mormons that have up to 15 children in the, the same family like that 
And uh, that is not what God is talking about. God is talking to create children for uh, children of God by talking and uh, help uh, people that is don't need to be in the family, people to come to know God, to make people be children of God, and not from birth in in someone's womb. There is so many people already born all over the world that need to come to know God. Uh, but they, they don't they don't understand it or else they want only to uh, um, tell that God want them to do many children because they want to have sex that's the only their own desire uh, to have sex and they lie and say God wants us to create many children and that is children that is already born that is from zero to hundred years old all our children and but I I going to tell you that I have uh, got got in contact with a man. Now it's one more man, and uh, he is born Muslim, but it seems like he don't like Arabic people. Uh, that he want to be Swedish and Christians and. Uh, I don't know what will happen with him, but he is another sort of of man that he he want to come to know God, a uh, uh, real. Uh, but he want to come to know God in anger, in anger what is going on in the world, and. That is something I have overcome. That is not me. And um, but I'm going to meet him uh, on a Sunday at lunch time. And uh, he is not a, a taxi driver this time. He is one that. Uh, uh, I so uh, lived in the same city as me, and that he was single, and uh, so I, I asked him if I, if he could help me by uh, take me for a walk and uh, walk hand in hand, or <laughs> hold his arm when I'm walking. I asked him about that, uh, but he wrote me that he need help of me. And but uh, I say that I can't do anything when it comes to the world to do. I can only help you when uh, uh, I can only help you in the spirit way. And now I I know why the spirits are here. I see them sometimes. Uh, that uh, I told this man. Uh, he's from. He's Muslim from, born Muslim. Uh, and uh, from Arabic countries, and he is here. I think he was married to a Swedish woman, and he had two kids, and 
And I know why I see these spirits. Because uh, I told him that uh, I should come and we should talk a little about his situation here in Sweden. And uh, I say, I maybe have something, message from heaven to you when we meet already. Uh, I, I say that to him. And, and uh, there are spirits that touch me. And, uh, and I understand why they are running. Uh, a little distance from me and uh, not going and uh, touch me before I start to talk now. They touch me, but uh, light, they they touch me. And uh, so I, I am going to ask them, ask them if it's... Uh, some matches a message for this uh, this man that I have just met uh, because he is angry about that he is not allowed to see his children uh, he he's divorced from this woman that have his children and uh, they have he have not seen his children for three years, so I I have a little the same as as I am not allowed to see my grandkids. Uh, so I I am going to help him when in a spirit way. I ha- I am weak when it come to the world I don't have any power to work with the world I I can only act and uh, saying things that I hear from from heaven when I hear from the spirit I can say it but I can't speak and fight on my own against the world. Oh, no, it was. You may have heard uh, that someone come in in into me. So I I think it some is something coming and uh, talking out from the spirits way to see things and. Um, they have already told me that uh, what I should do with this man is t- to calm him down, make him to understand that he don't win by be busy and everything, that he have to stress down on himself in. Uh, himself because to uh, to be angry he's very very angry man to be angry that uh, doesn't help he must work with his contact with God and heaven and um, um it's a woman here, and she is saying that he should not run after women. They they don't help in that way. Uh, he need to slow down and uh, focus uh, to uh, see someone that can really help him. I can do that. Uh, I can help him in a spirit way. But uh, he told me that he was... I wanted to meet him on Saturday 
lunch. Maria, he said he had something to do in lunch time on Saturday, and I'm I'm worried about that. I'm not kind of worried because what will will be will be, and God have all the control. But if he uh, if he now uh, find a woman before we meet each other, uh, then it will not. I can't help him because he is running for for the world, and if he understand that this is help from from heaven that's come to him, then we can meet. Well, I I think I, he is very hard to to um, talk to. He's too much stress in him. But that is what the spirit spirit world is saying that he had to calm down before he, they can work with him. All all those uh, spirits that have come to me, they have wanted me to calm down. They can't do anything when I'm upset and and full of stress. I need to be uh, go down so they can reach me. And that is uh, about this man. If I can make him slow down and listen to me, then is he okay? And um, the spirit is saying that is. Some of you that listen at the podcast here, you need to do the same because you don't win any wars by being full of stress and not could focus on anything. So it's time for me to go to bed because it's very late now. I'm going to be very very sleepy and I'm not I can't eat anything in the morning so it's gonna be very hard uh, to do but I am going to bring with me food so I can eat immediately after uh, they have taken the test on me so that this was what I needed to say because they were running here, the spirits. It's not, uh, I'm sorry that it was not for a long uh, episode I did. But I needed to wait for the spirits if they wanted to say something. So they say a little. So thank you for listening and God bless you.